because Green Terra was a Buddhist god who she did everything um, with the guidance of the soul, with the desires of the heart. And I think that is perfect. Now, on top of that, I'm your host, Elena Chapman. I'm on here. I am founder of Soul Manifesto. For some reason, I'm hearing myself back. Uh, Della, is there, um, I wonder, I wonder why. I'm sure well, anyway. Muted. Are you muted, Elena? No, you can't. I'm not you. muted. Am oh. I muted? Well, I hear you. No, you're not muted. On your little no, 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 I'm not muted. Uh, that is not, I know that's my picture, but that's not me. I okay. think that's um, Chad. Got it. Okay. So anyway, all right, so I am, um, the, I am founder of Soul Manifesto. And so if you don't know, I'm a spiritual thought leader, curator, and they call me the Soul Nurturer. So on top of that, so what do I do? I help you, I help you to, um, first of all, to start realizing and living by your soul. And then I help you connect to the divine, truly. So with that, I... Um, I've been looking at all the posts, guys. I've been looking at what we're going through right now. I see the fear. I see the chaos. I see the unknowing. I see the, um, just the, the ambiguous of it all. And so with that, I really wanted to create a group where you could bring your questions, your ideas, your things that you're dealing with, and we could all talk and gain a higher perspective of what it is. And that way, when you leave, you get an aha moment, you get some tools you can use, and you can go out into that world having a little more confidence, a little more goodness, um, a little more, oh, there, uh, um, we have someone trying to get on uh, the, the line and it's Fern. Could you text her and have her connected to it through Soul yes. Manifesto or send her the link? Yes. Stella? Okay. So here we are now. We are now going to talk about today. First of all, Kathleen, you were on last week. Carol, you were on last week. Last week. Um, one Carol was. Do we have two Carols, I think? Um, anyway, Kathleen, you were. Did, how did you have any questions from last week? How did your week go? Does anybody have any questions? I don't have any questions from our last time together. Okay, good. I was excited tonight though to, you know, get some nice good conversation going. And <laughs> Me too. My week is probably like everybody else's. You know, we're just kind of hanging in there and doing what we need to do and uh, for yeah. me job searching, which isn't fun right now, but Ah, job searching. Huh. That's an interesting time right now with job searching, isn't it? Yes, it is. I bet it is. Okay. All right. Well, the, then tonight, I hope when we talk, because if we don't have questions, I have a topic, of course. But I always want to make sure I'm getting through the questions. Does anybody else have any questions? Okay. Ooh, I can hear crickets out there, guys. <laughs> All right, so the one thing I do, we have to have some guidelines because mostly for me, but also for you. Um, I want to install a three second rule, meaning when someone talks, you're gonna hear me pause and I am going to make sure that you're finished talking, okay? And I would like us all to do that because on Zoom, we get so excited about the ideas. And then when we, we'll, <laughs> We start interrupting each other, but we're not like in a physical group where you can still hear the person. It kind of bleeps in and out. So we've got to have that three second rule so we, everybody gets their share and really gets to be heard. The other thing is, um, of course, respect for each other. We may not always agree. Heaven forbid if that should happen, but respect and not really arguing because it really is Hi, Fern. It really is a total, um, when you respect, then you learn. If you argue, you're using the ego and you close down and you can't learn. Okay? And then um, I want us all to be able to share the floor. 
So if you are on a roll and you're talking more than, well, let's say three minutes, then I know um, I might kindly speed you up a little bit so that other people will be heard. Okay? Is everybody agreeable with those rules? Yes. Thank you, Kathleen. You know, help deal with things. Oh, who's that? Hello? Was I the only one who heard that? <laughs> no, that was, that was my, um, my TV. I, I didn't mute it. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So I was like, okay, that's a mysterious voice. All right. So, <clears throat> since we don't have questions, I would like to bring up the topic of strength. Now, I hope you all like that one. Do you like that topic? Yes. Yeah, and you guys can all unmute yourself, you know, unless you have background noise. We're still getting it, so I don't know why. But strength is, is an interesting topic. I mean, if you look it up, strength is, well, I don't, I, in fact, I'm not even gonna look it up. I wanna hear what you think strength is. So Kathleen, you're already unmuted. <laughs> I'm gonna make you the co-host. Will you go ahead and tell me what you think strength is? Ooh. To me, strength is doing the right thing, even if it's not the easy thing, even if it's not what you want to do, it's, it's knowing that you just, you just have to do it. Okay, well, that's a good definition. Carol, what about you? What does strength mean to you? I think for me, it's like when you have very clear focus and you have all the power aligned, Wow. that you, you, you yeah. can be strong. I like that. Yeah, I never, now that's, that's, that, I like that. I have not, um, I never thought of it that way. That's a new perspective for me. Thank you. Do, uh, Fern, where is Fern? I can't see everyone. I, I wonder if I could do this, if I can see everybody. No, nope, but won't let me do that. Fern, what about yes. you? Um, I think strength for me is just, um, it's, it's like perseverance on like the max, you know, just never giving up no matter what you, you just don't give in and you just keep pushing. Okay. And, uh, Betty, did I, am I correct on that? And you don't have to talk if you don't want to. Um, I want to give you a chance though. Okay, Loretta, do you want to say anything or did, was it covered? Okay, two people who just want to listen. Guys, feel free to, 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 to speak because it is a discussion group and it's a sharing group, okay? I'm really not making this a webinar, it's not. It's more where we learn. Like I already learned a new perspective. All right, so I, I, I personally, I can't, if I miss someone, please tell me now so that I can not miss you if you want to say something. Okay. Oh, Chad, what about you? Strength is peace. Strength is peace. Yeah. Being at peace. Yeah. Being at peace. Okay. All right. Okay. I like that. Adela, what about you? Strength is stability. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have focus, the will, uh, doing what you know needs to be done, even though if you don't want to do it, having that willpower to go for it. Peace. I like these. These are all good. All right. So when we have inner strength, Jacqueline, oh, she, oh if we have inner strength, that inner strength, is something that carries us through life. Is that agreed or disagreed with you? I just made a statement. I agree with that. Yeah. I agree. Now, can strength, inner strength, be built? Can you create inner strength in you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. All right. 
Now, and, and I'd like to hear uh, what, what are some ways that you have found that you can build inner strength? And by that, I mean, you always feel like no matter what, you're going to be fine. No matter if the world is ending tomorrow, you're going to be fine. How do you faith. build that inside? I would say huh? faith. I would say faith. Faith in what? Um, just a higher, something, something bigger than myself, knowing that the universe has my back. Okay. Okay. I like that. That's fern. All right. Anyone else? Well, I, found, I find strength in um, knowing that I am 100% responsible and accountable for everything in my life, including my perception. So if my perception is one of fear, then I know that I can alter that perception and come out of fear. So you're being just totally in control of your thoughts and control of who you are. That's your strength and that's inner strength. That's good, Chad. Yeah, it like doesn't rely too. on anything external. Ah, very good. All right. Anyone else? Okay. And so Fern says it's a higher. Chad says it's all here. Me. Okay. It's me, myself, I. All right. Anybody else? <laughs> all right. What if, what if uh, I... Maybe perspective, too, I would say. You know, um reflecting back on things maybe you've gotten through before and knowing that you know you've got through them so you have a pretty you pretty much have a hundred percent accuracy oh, rate of, yeah an actual accuracy rate of getting through all those difficult times yes yes of course experience builds confidence and confidence yeah, so, makes you feel like i can do it right yeah that's yeah, building so perspective it. too how you look at it how you look at it you know that's right. That's, yeah, that's exactly right. Being in control and how you're looking at it. I have always found in my perspective, I, nobody's wrong, nobody's right, guys. Um, I have always found that it's a combination. It's a combination. I've been through enough in my life where I've learned that it's not, um, uh, it, it's, I always have, I've grown up with, with that feeling that no matter what, I'm always gonna be fine. I don't know why, I just have. Um, maybe because I was so independent at such a young age, but I just know that whatever's gonna happen, I will be fine. But I've also gone through enough in my life <laughs> that I know that sometimes there has to be a bigger play. There has to be that something bigger that comes in and helps once in a while. Now, um, does anyone want to hear a story? Because I don't want to hog, and I'm not supposed to hog. Would you like to hear a story? Yes. Of course. <laughs> we love Elena stories. Well, <laughs> well, this one I don't tell very often, actually. So it might be a new one. Um, Chad knows it a little. All right. So, so I'll tell you. Uh, and, and I'm saying that sometimes when we are in the deepest, when we really do have problems, uh, we have to look outside ourselves in the sense, Chad, that we may, uh, I, I'm offering this as another view, in the sense that if we believe that spirit is omnipresent, then that means spirit is everywhere. And sometimes when we're in our darkest hours, it's when that spirit will come alive in everything around us. But if we're closed off from it, if we're caught in that um, upsetness, that worry, that fear, we can't see it. Um, when I was, okay, it was, it was uh, uh, I don't know, I think it was the 80s or early 90s. And I had just finished, just got my degree, um, my master's, and I was uh, also getting uh, divorced from a first husband. And we were going through a recession in the nation. And uh, so getting, I had a degree in music and I wanted to work in the, in the colleges, but I couldn't, uh, Vermont was really hit hard. I couldn't go home. And my dad never thought music was a very good career. So he was all too happy to switch me out. There was a lot of control going back there. So I decided to stay out where I am in the Midwest. And I, um, and uh, thus he cut me off. <laughs> that happens. So 
I was uh, at newly divorced, I had $200 to my name, $200. And uh, I gave $20 to a homeless woman. And then it hit me that I could be homeless that night <laughs> because I didn't have a place to stay. Um, and the furniture was in storage. All I got was furniture and $200. So I had to figure something out. And I, I could have sat in, and just sat there and thought, what in the heck am I gonna do? And instead I got an urge. I got this little feeling inside. I, it just, it, it's like a thought popped into my mind, but it was from my heart. It was really my soul. And it said, go to the river go to the river. And I said, okay, I'll go to the river. And so I went to a park, my favorite park that has a river. And I, um, I got out of the car and I went down to the riverside and I just sat there and I watched the river. And soon I, my watching the river let go of my problem and I started to observe the river. I started to see all the life around the river. I started to think about how this poor river has been through so much pollution, so much man-made messes. People have been trying to divert it. People have been trying to hold it back, but still it flows with ease and it's strong, but it's not hard. And I started thinking, my gosh, and everywhere it travels, it doesn't care where it travels as long as it gets to its destination. And Everywhere it goes, it creates life. And so as I was sitting there, I thought, that's how I have to be. And I got my strength from that river. I didn't worry anymore. I knew what I was going to be. I took the lesson from spirit. And when I went back to the car, my phone was there. And I had, a, um, I had a, a message from a girlfriend. Hi, Pamela. And she, she, said, and she said, hey, do you want to see this apartment? It's $5,000 in. I have 180 bucks. <laughs> but I said, I looked at the river and I said, sure, I'll take a look. And then I met her there. When we went upstairs, I saw the, the place I fell in love. I saw the little porch. I thought I'll fill that with plants, have my tea out there every day. I love this place. This is my place. And I said, so how much do you want? He said 5,000. And before I could even stop it, it out came, it came out from my mouth. And I said, well, this place needs work. I need to pull up the rug. You got mold there. You got this, 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 this. I said, if you let me live here I, and pay for the supplies, I will, I will do all the work and it'll be cute as a button. And he said, yes. I was flowing like a river. Sometimes our strength does start with our inner strength. We have to be able to get up and walk, but I swear I really do think it's that. It's also keeping our eyes open and listening to the urges of our soul because our soul will lead us to the solutions. And that is a type of strength. I don't know, comments? I believe that I, I've been in some um, situations similar, not necessarily as that extreme, but you know, there's just something calling me to do something. And a lot of times we talk ourselves out of it, but it's those few times that we listen, you know, something good that does come from it. We, we have to open up and trust. It's a level of trust. Um, Kathleen, what do you think about this? I'm not sure yet. I'm still taking all this in because I've had some people say some really neat things that I never thought of before as strength. I had a focused view of it, but yeah, I like the other things that I'm hearing. So I'm still digesting and forming my new opinions. I like that. That's why we have this group. <laughs> Isn't that perfect? Yeah. I think, I'm, okay. And, and Loretta, do you want to offer anything at all? I'm happy to have you just listen. I don't want to push you. I'm just, I just want to give you room if you want to speak. Okay. So, so and Chad. Maybe, maybe if this? I can just interrupt. Maybe they don't understand how to unmute. Oh, 
Thank you, Fern. Okay, guys, at the bottom of your screen, if you don't know how to unmute, and that's, that's technology. I never think about that. Um, there's a little microphone, and if it has the bar through, you have to press it or click on it to get the bar to move away, and then you're unmute. And um, actually, I think, Della, can't you unmute everybody? Yes, I believe so. Let me go up here and see. Technology. Oh. Gotta love it. Everyone has the option to unmute themselves. We, we okay. don't have no one muted. All right. Oh, well, okay. Then, Loretta, you're happy where you are. If you want to say something, please say it. And until that time, so I'm not putting... And Betty. Okay. So, um, yeah, I, I, do, I do agree with that. I had the un unfortunate event where I ran into a river last year. And it took a lot of strength to get out of there. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes that river kind of has not My name is Betty. Hi, Betty. Hi, welcome to the group. So maybe when spirit talks to you, or when you need that extra little thing and you need to look outside, they probably won't bring you to a river. <laughs> but wherever you go, it's, I think it's more about listening to the urge inside you, what you need to solve the problem so that you can be strong. What do you think of that? Listening to that inner voice, I mean, really listening to that inner voice, what it wants to tell you. And really listening and having the courage to, yeah, I guess on faith to go forward with what you think. Yeah. It is. It's taking that, it's taking, it's looking at the bigger picture. And, and it's, um, do I feel, I've been told, do I feel like I'm a strong person? I don't know. I never really thought about it. Have I been told I'm very strong? Yes. But I tell you, sometimes even the strongest needs a little boost. And I think my strength comes from the two things. Knowing that I am going to be fine. And how do you build that? We can talk about that. But it's definitely looking at something bigger than myself and receiving messages from it on how to proceed. And Chad, why don't you you want to come in and and uh, add to this or or disagree even? He's quiet. No, I just I have to find the mute button. Um, so, you know, from from my perspective, I, I view everything as um, <clears throat> as perception. Um, what we as human beings experience. Um, is, you know, we could all be at the same place right now um, experiencing the same thing and we would all have very different perceptions of what's going on. So perception yes. for me is our reality. And because of that, um, whenever I feel I'm in a negative place or a fearful place, I know it's not the truth. It's just my perception. So what I need to do and what I do is I focus on how to alter my perception to get realigned with... Um, with uh, who I want to be in the world. Everything is a choice. We're not victims. Yes. The, the reason I, I believe that um, that power comes from that inner peace is because if I make my strength reliant on anything outside of me, then I've essentially relegated myself to a victim, uh, a, a state of a victim. As soon as it doesn't go my way, I'm stranded. There's nothing I can do about it. If I realize that, that my strength and my power is from within, then I'm never a victim. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, and that is a very good viewpoint. If I didn't have the strength within myself, I could not have, I could not have conquered a lot of the challenges that have been brought forward and they were hard challenges. And I do get that. However, I do like the guidance and the teaching because it can teach me a better way to go about it, especially if I decide that well, not always do I have to, to move the mountain, but I can walk around it. 
or I can flow through it. And I do like those lessons, but I understand what you're saying. It's all in what works for you in so many ways. Fern, what about you, darling? Is, does anybody else want to comment? To back on what Chad had just said, um, I, I agree. Um, it definitely is perspective. However, for me, how I change my perspective, perspective is through gratitude. Um, if I'm having a situation and like I'm in a negative place, so if I'm feeling sorry for myself, what I try to do is I'm like, all right, um, what is something I can pull from this that I could be grateful for? Um, what is something that, you know, um, you know, it's really, you know, like buck up for like, you really don't have it that bad, you know? look at this homeless person over here or look at this type of person over here. And not that they're bad, you know, I don't you mean to, you know, sound disrespectful, but like, you know, you're not in that situation. There are people out in this world that have it so much worse than you do. So like, you know, buckle yeah. up buttercup. <laughs> well, and also what, what have you thought about just even when you do your gratitudes to the place you are right now and the goodness from there, but even some of the gratitude you have for your own abilities. Well, it's, yeah, it's funny you say that as well, because the person I was five years ago may have fallen apart into, you know, small little pieces, whereas the person I am today, because of these exercises or because of this perspective, because of the growth that I've done, I can see the difference and I can see how it's, you know, been beneficial toward, you know, for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so I'm mm -hmm. grateful for that as well. I'm grateful for the growth. That's good. That's good. And Carol, are you still there? I cannot, I don't know why I cannot see everything. I'm here. Yeah, I, good. Have, I, I think I'm in a little bit of the, I, I think it is um, myself, but I do think there is something in the universe where I feel like I get insights sometimes that I can't deny or the yeah. things that line up that just really make me feel like there is, um, a magical aspect to this that, um, oh gosh that I love. yeah and that's why you have connected <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's true like even in these um days when we're in our house all the time or oh my gosh. and when my son was sick and I thought oh does he have corona I had to step outside and just look up at the cloud and I thought oh Elena stop and you know, don't, don't even put that in here. Don't go there. Look at the sky and look at the vastness. Look at the opportunity. Look at the clarity. Look at the, just, the, just the flying, the flying. There does not need to be a problem. And see, when we look at, when we, I don't think anybody who looks at that cloud is gonna see it the same way. And you know why? Yes, perception. Chad's 100% right. But also, if you're listening and you can hear that soul of yours and you can hear the universe, it'll teach its lesson to you in whatever you need. One person may look up there and see vastness and another person may look at it and see that, that I don't know, I see vastness. I see opportunity. I don't know. Someone else might see freedom. Somebody else might see, you know, it's a special lesson that's just for you. So I don't know. I think that omnipresent, I like to use the spirit, but I also believe in building that wonderful strength inside yourself too, because you have to be willing to step up and you have to be able to own the actions you take and, and that you are the creator. The universe creates through you. So it's, it's a double thing. It's really a double thing, very much. Does anyone else want to comment on that? Hey, Elena, one other thought I had too was for me, strength, I'm so much stronger if I stay in this moment. It's when I go out into the future that I yes. that strength. Is this Pamela? It's Carolyn, sorry. Oh, Carolyn. Okay, yeah. thank you. <laughs> yeah. When and you're in the present moment. Yeah, I know when I get weak, I'm like, get back into this moment right now, you know, and that's, yes. that's powerful for me. It is powerful because when you're in that unknown, oh my God, he's, he's got Corona. Oh my gosh, I can't yeah. do that. Oh my gosh, there's no toilet paper. Oh my gosh, you know, and you're in that future. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? That kind of feeling. 
Yes. That's not going to help you at all. It spins you. It spins you. And yet that's where people like to live. Why? And where they feel victim. They feel like a victim. Why do you think that is? Anybody have any ideas? Lack of um, self-confidence. Lack of self-confidence. That's a cause. But, but if they, you know, if they, yeah, so they had lack you're of self-confidence. Yeah, you're saying, why do they feel like, I know for me, I felt I've always, well, it's a combination of things, you know, um, you're kind of conditioned into victim mentality, depending upon what you have surrounded yourself with, the people you were around, the upbringing, so on and so forth, or you just don't think that you're good enough, you don't think that you're able or capable, um, and so you become a victim. Okay, all right. Is it easier? My experience, or what? That's good. No, that's good. No, everybody's good. I, I'm, I'm learning. I'm digesting. Don't, yeah, don't think I'm doing anything else. I'm just thinking. Uh, anyone else have any ideas why people would stay in the victim role and not decide to build that strength inside themselves and, and even get guidance? I believe that that's where people, humans, minds, that's just the default that you go to because that's the wavelength that most people operate on during the day that that chaos that's sort of what keeps you going is that wavelength and i don't i can't remember if it's alpha or if it's gaba one of those yeah and you have to really train your mind to you know because you're in that for a reason because you're working and you're getting things done but you have to step out of that and you have to relax your mind and that's where the meditation and the other things go because if you let that that fight or flight get out of hand then you get messed up and then you, you can get really messed up haywire but it's just it's just the natural wavelength that we are on during the day if we're out in the public and we're doing our jobs and all of that yeah it is and so we're kind of conditioned for it isn't it it is yes we are it's a conditioning mm -hmm. and, and and that is we yeah, are conditioned we and it's very easy to think forward constantly keep that spinning and then that blame, and we're seeing a lot of blame now everywhere, tons of blame. But, well, I think, I, because we, I think we're also conditioned, I mean, even in society, any, any, any corner you turn, it's someone's pointing the finger to someone else. You know, we're conditioned to blame because if we, if we don't blame, then we have to take accountability and responsibility. And if we have to take accountability and responsibility, then that means that we're wrong. And if we're wrong, then that means we're going to have to do something about it. And if we're going to oh have to gosh. do something about it, then there's the fear of not knowing what to do about it. Exactly. That's right. And you if know? we can blame something out there, that's right, then we're not responsible. Mm -hmm. uh, but right. what we don't understand is every time we blame something out there, we take a little chink out of our, our own strength. And most of us in society every are time. Ego -driven. Yeah, it is. It's ego. But we take, we take a chink out of believing in ourselves. That's important, guys. It's very important. Every time we blame or we put it out here, we chink away at our own belief in ourselves and our confidence. Because we give the responsibility away. And like Chad said, we are responsible for our action. We are, totally. And we want to own it and we want to feel it inside. But, but what are ways that we can start building that inner strength? Yes, we know we can get guidance and we know we can get, but how can we foster in ourselves that feeling that no matter what, I'm going to be fine. How can we foster that in ourselves? Positive affirmations, meditation, quiet time, reflection, gratitude. I, <laughs> I think, yeah. I, I honestly think it starts very simply, and that's just with acceptance. You start to have to have acceptance. It's kind of a combination of all. I think, believe it or not, to build, and, and yes, it does take that meditation, it does take the affirmation. I do think a lot of it also has to do with the experiences that we create and we decide to own. Uh, um, I don't want to teach. I want to hear your opinion. So, so if I... Um, <laughs> <this part. laughs> 
because I want to. But and let me toss this idea. When we create the experiences and we, we create them in little ways, you know, like uh, baby steps. What about Bob? Baby steps. And we conquer them. Does that help to build self-confidence? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Well, <laughs> yeah, I gave it away. <laughs> so, when, so that's one way because when we build an experience, we can actually start to see how much we can, can control. It's funny, I learned that when um, I had a friend say to me during my divorce, say, Elena, take care of your own circle. And I looked at her like, what are you talking about? And then when I looked around and I saw all the baby steps I could take to gain my footing in the situation that was being thrown on me, I could, and it was a different divorce, <laughs> I could actually get my footing, even though I'm a strong person, I had to get my footing in the situation because it's so weird. I had to do little steps to gain control and each step gave me more confidence that yes, I could conquer this. So, I mean, look at your life. Are you looking to build strength in your life to feel stronger? And if you are, start to look at some baby steps you can take and conquer. Every baby step gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And, the, and you start to really build along with affirmations. I will always be fine. I am, I am the perfect existence of love. I will always be fine. You can say that over and over and build that inside you also. But it's also adding those experiences. I don't know. What's, what's somebody's idea on that? I always say, whenever I'm, I'm, I'm going through something, I'll be like, nothing happens to us, everything happens to us. Interesting. Yes, I agree. Nothing happens, and nothing happens to us. Yeah, nobody's sitting up there on the cloud saying, all right, today I'm going to give it to Elena. She's got she's to have all the problems. It doesn't happen that way. And when, when Chad was talking about perception, yeah. when you, you get that perception that whatever is happening is neither good or bad, yeah. it just is. And how do I want to deal with it? That helps to build strength too. That perception that nothing is good or bad. And sometimes that's a hard pill to take. Anyone have a comment on that? I was just going to say, um, so, what was the last thing you said? I said, sometimes that's a hard pill to take because when something's happening to you, we, we want to, we always feel like we have to have an enemy. Okay, like this coronavirus. Well, that goes back to the blame because we need an answer. We have to blame. We have to put the blame somewhere. And it has just to be the evil, evil villain of the... Every movie has an even evil villain. Every, yeah, again, I mean, even if we look at this virus, we treat this virus like it's a, what did they say, a war. So it's like, it's got the enemy, it's the enemy. What if this virus just is? Does that make it easier for you to deal with or harder? And why? Um, it depends on your perspective. It goes back to your perspective and how you're, how you're viewing it. Yeah. And so if you feel it just is, does that make it harder to swallow and deal with or easier? Everybody's thinking. I, it depends on what it is. If I, if it's, if it's, if it's, you know, me blaming my ex-husband because I divorced, you know, cause our, our divorce, then that alleviates me from any responsibility. That alleviates me for look, from looking inside and, and now, you know, looking in the mirror and self-reflecting as to, you know, what is my part in all of this? Okay. That's good. Okay. Okay. But we don't want to do that. 
right but if it's something like this virus you know what i mean i, I don't know you know again it gives just uh, some kind of meaning you know some type of like reasoning you know because we also have a very hard time understanding why certain you know bad things just happen right right we do and if we stop labeling it do you think now i'm just throwing this out here and i'm kind of doing a double advocate thing but all right so we've got this virus if we really thought okay it is just here does it give you the sense that all right we just have to deal with it and we have to take the steps to deal with it does it remove the fear or does it make it too ambiguous for you? Which Elena, the way, the way I look at it is fear is um, a projection of something that hasn't occurred that you are afraid will occur. So you're projecting into the future. You're not in the present. And um, so, so all fear is future focused, first of all. Yes. Fear is never in the present because when you're in the present, all you have to do is deal with what is. That's why they say that yes. waiting for the war is worse than the war itself because, exactly. of, because of what happens in your head, right? Yeah, and so, we create um, the worst monsters in the whole wide world in our little heads. Right. And we also create, from my, from my viewpoint, we also create all meaning. There is actually, the way I view life is it's actually objectively meaningless and that human beings are meaning making machines and we project onto things what something means exactly and then and then we live into that projection so that projection could be fear based or it could be love and peace based and that's exactly. totally up to us so if if i take this virus that's that's where i'm going so if i take this virus and i say all right it just is I, and how what i project into it and i choose I choose to be proactive. I'm going to safeguard my family. I'm going to do the precautions I need to. Right. I'm, going to I'm going to be this. But I've taken the fear. I've taken the blame. I've taken the, 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 the bad wolf with the big giant teeth out of the picture. Interesting, isn't it? It's an interesting way to go about it. And I tell you, it's almost foolproof. Thank you, Chad. Anybody else want to say something? Well, I, what I've been experiencing, like, especially with my job, you know, working in the um, health field, you know, as I'm a nurse. Oh, yeah, uh, you're on the front lines. You know, right. So working in what I'm doing, you know, it's very easy to allow the fear to consume you because none of us know what we're up against. Right. However, but, but like you said, I, I you know, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. The first week of going into this, like, it, it consumed me. Um, it sure did. Sure, it did. I, New I, York. Yeah. Fern is in yeah. New York, so she's in and, the um, she's in the mouth of the thing. Yeah, and so and so for me, it was like okay, I had to take a step back and I had to kind of like regroup. And what really helped me was was actually being the sounding board for everyone else and you know putting out the information on facebook or you know talking to people about it and kind of getting everyone else to switch their focus as well because i'm like listen guys like we can we can be afraid of this you know we have a choice there's always a choice we can be afraid of this and we can allow it to consume us or we can be proactive and do what needs to be done and not you know allow it to take our joy and 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 you know and take the away from the daily things that we do it doesn't mean and, and that's what i had put up on my on my facebook i'm like you know gratitude doesn't mean that um your feelings aren't valid it doesn't mean that those those problems aren't there what it means is that you're shifting your focus to something positive and you know energy goes where attention flows you know yes now i want to ask everyone when you listen to her doesn't she sound strong yes yeah. So, so but it it's really a choice. is. I'm sorry? I said it's a choice, though. It is a choice. It most, cer it most a certainly choice. is a choice, but most people don't know that. And it took me a very long time to understand that. Everything is a choice. Everything is a choice. Mm -hmm. So what we're saying is, uh, to kind of get things into a... Uh, around about, it's building that inner self, that it, it's changing the perspective about how you deal with the situation. It's, it's knowing that 
every little thing that you can chop it up in little ways and step forward and conquer things. You can say it's neither, neither, it's neither good nor bad. It's here. I have to deal with it. But do I want to go with the big bad wolf or do I want to be creative and deal with it the way I need to create, be creative and deal with it and think of new ways? And of course, there's always, I feel very strongly that we can be guided if we open ourselves to it because this world is full of magic, guys. The spirit is everywhere around us and it doesn't weaken you to have guidance because that's why you have your own universe. That's why, that's why we're here. Life is an experiment. It's a freaking giant experiment. And everything we do, every choice we make, whether we're guided or not, chooses the road we will be on. It's just what road do you want to be on? If I want to be strong, I'll create ways to be strong. I will do the baby steps, I'll conquer it. I know I will be fine. I know there's a bigger reason for me to be on this earth than just today. It's choices in how we build our character. And it's choices in what we choose to, to take as blame or we choose to take on ourselves. So kind of look at this and look at your own life. Where do you see yourself wanting to blame? See yourself in that, that, that pushing all the power out here. How can I instead take that on in little bites and conquer it? How can I do that? Am I afraid to go outside and look up at the sky and see if it has a lesson? Sit under a tree and see if it has a lesson? Am I, do I want that bigger guidance? It's a two-way street. Any closing com? anybody have any comments on any of this? Or questions, questions would be good at this point too. Well, I'll say, I, I feel terrible. I feel like I'm monopolizing the time, but. <laughs> no, it was, were there were crickets? Um, I'll say, my mother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my mother used to tell me um, growing up, like when it came to schooling, right? My mother always wanted, you know, was always pushing for us to go to school. And her, her saying to us would always be like, well, you know what? You might as well go ahead and get it done because you're going to live that time. You're going to live that. You're going to live life anyway. You, you know, you're going to have that time anyway. So you might as well go ahead and get it done. And so I kind of put my own twist on it with the way I think about things. So it's so, you know, going back to what Chad said in, in, in terms of, of it being a perspective and, and it being a choice, you're going to live this life anyway. You're going to live through this time anyway. So are you going to live through it miserable and negative and, and fearful? Or are you going to make a choice and be happy and positive and, you know, strong and confident? And feel good about who you are. Right. And trust and trust who you are. Okay. All right. Anybody else? And I believe you need to be patient while you do this because it's, a, to me at least, it's a never ending process. I'll have days or weeks where I do well and then I'll fall into a bit of a pit. And yes. it, it just doesn't, it just gets harder and harder, but you just have to keep on it. And it, you're going to have, just because you're strong, you're doing it, doesn't mean you're not going to take some steps backwards once in a while. No, always. Yeah, and that, Kathleen, that is very important because, because we all think we're going to wake up tomorrow morning and be Wonder Woman or Wonder Man. And, and right. really, it's, it's an evolution. It's an evolution. And yeah, have patience for yourself. Right. And celebrate the good and just say, if it's not going so well, I'll do better next time. And I also think you need to realize I think that everybody has a certain amount of strength, but that doesn't mean that those people don't have self-doubt. You know, I look at people and think, oh my gosh, what could go wrong in their life? They're doing everything great. You really talk to them, they have just as many issues and they, they have days where they don't feel confident. Just because you yes. don't feel that way doesn't mean you still don't have that strength and you can still go on. Of course. Of course. Well, yeah. I mean, to add to, add to what you... I just said that self comparison those are the those are the other habits that we used to have when we were in the negative places those are the those are the type of um things that we would do is compare ourselves to someone else and, and, and then we would then um, intellectualize it as to why we weren't good enough. Well see that person's life is so great and why is it you know, do you know what I mean? 
Yeah. So that's like yeah, one I of those understand. habits that yeah. we have yeah. to Yeah, break. I do understand. And also to Kathleen. That's 10 times worse. Yeah, it does make it worse. It does. They do have right. it worse sometimes. Every, but you can always find someone who has it worse. No, there are always going to be days. I've never found it. There are days where everyone, everyone has days where they just want to, to, I don't know, hide. They just, it's just too much. And Lord knows I've had those. I know that. Those are the days I get out and, and I get my lessons, my biggest lessons. But it takes me getting there. And you get exhausted sometimes. And sometimes you just get down. It doesn't mean you're not strong. It doesn't mean you're not strong. It means you're human. <laughs> you're human. But then that's where the gratitude helps. That's where going out and, and getting strength from spirit that's all around you. Or that's where, or, or, the, or the meditation. That's where you use your tools to build yourself. Or, or watch a really great movie to get your mind off of it. I've done that too. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you are okay. Okay, now I'm back. Or now I can take a step forward. But yeah, everybody has that. That doesn't make you weak. That really is human. Okay? Guys, this has been awesome. And do you, now, do, are there any questions? I love the comments. Excellent comments. My God, this is a great group. But now, is there any, any questions? No, you're all ready to get out there and start building strength. <laughs> this is a what big are we talking topic. About? I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, Elena, one thing I would, I would, I don't have a question, but one thing I would like to say to everyone here is, uh, so this is Chad. I'm part of the Soul Manifesto team. Yeah. And, you know, these, the reason we're doing these, these green Terra groups is to be, you know, of service, especially at a time, and I, I don't know if it was Fern or Kathleen, but someone had said that, um, you know, the, 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 the development of strength and understanding that you don't have to be a victim and understanding Kathleen. that, yeah. Yeah. that, that and understanding that um, we have choice in the matter, it wasn't until they learned that that they finally realized you know, the power that they have. A lot of people right now, most people I would say, are experiencing a total loss of power in this yes. current situation. And so yes. all of you know friends and family that are struggling. Yes. Invite them to the next Green Terra group. They need to be immersed in these types of conversations. They because do. otherwise, they're just sitting there in life, Spinning. panicked, afraid, feeling powerless and not knowing what to do about all this. And we want to be a, a, a community. We're building a community here. Uh, we want to be a community that helps people get access to their own personal strength so that they can move out of fear into power. As, as a matter of fact, thank you, Chad. That's excellent. Yeah, do invite people because nobody needs to suffer in this time. But I do want you to write down, uh, I think all of you must have a piece of paper somewhere. I have so many papers around here, it's amazing, I collect them. But write down one key thing, or maybe two, that you got from this week. And, and, and allow it to feed you this week in building that strength. Maybe it's an affirmation. Maybe it's the baby steps. Maybe it's knowing that you have the power within you and to own it. Or maybe it's not blaming everything. Whatever the key we taught, we had, we, we really did a scope on this. So whatever it is, write it down so that you don't forget. And, and you know that if you have questions and maybe you get into the middle of this week or something, you have a question, you go on the Soul Manifesto webpage and, and where it says um, um, uh, to connect, Write a question. Say, hi, this is, this is Fern, or this is Carol, or this is Kathleen, and I have a question. And, and just write it, and we'll get back, I'll get back with you. I promise. Okay? Yeah, and just also, this is Chad again. The new Soul Manifesto website will be live in the next week and a half, two weeks, where we'll have tons so of video. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying, know that it's changing, and there's going to be tons of other resources, video content that Elena is putting out, etc. So it's going to yeah. start to get quite dynamic. It's going to be fun. We're going yeah. to have fun. 
I'm so excited because it's going to come alive like I've always wanted. But for you guys, you know, just know, just know that number one, the universe creates through you. But you have to make the choice. So you have to decide how do I want to, how do I want to proceed? And who am I? That's a fun one. You know, I have that inner strength. I can do this because I am, I am from perfect love. I am perfect love. Okay. I love you all. Does anybody have anything to say before we close off? Because it's getting to that time and I don't want to close off. Um, just a quick question. Will this now be every Thursday at 7 p.m.? Yes. Gosh, okay. Yes. Keep me on tabs here, Chad and Fern. Yes. Every this is going to be every, every other Thursday. Thursday. So every yeah, Thursday. It was going to be every other Thursday, but you know what? It seemed too long a time. And I thought, geez, how many things have, has everybody been watching? Oh my gosh, if I see, okay, my Facebook, I'm seeing like every, every other post is some kind of either, this is a total, total, uh, what do they call that? Uh, uh, where, where there's hidden agenda somewhere. And so we got that going. We've got, Conspiracy. We've got all the arguments. We've got all the yeah. yucky death. Then we have, I have on my feed anyway, all the people with recipes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have got this, but, but all that stuff, we're being fed every day. I'm hearing from governors of Texas. I don't want to hear from governors from Texas. I got my own state I'm worried about right now. So, I mean, it, it, we're just being fed a lot. And so I think we need to have these conversations. And, and I'm hoping that it carries you. It gives you a new perspective. Well, no, it's, it's great that I know that it's every Thursday. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't... So, no, no I'm, it's great that I know it's every Thursday because then I can promote it into my other group, um, that Quantitopia, oh, and yeah. I can get all those people. Oh, yes, I can. I'm gonna I'm gonna promote this now over in that other group. There's about two, maybe three hundred, um, two with about two or three hundred people over in that group now. Namaste. And so Thank I you. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank they, you. They, I know they'll love this. So I'm not saying all two, three hundred will come over, but at least no, but at least handful. yeah, no, no, no. And every week, I, uh, and I'll try to get it posted what we're going to talk about too. But I think strength is a good one. And if you ever want to revisit something, also put that in the comment section of the, or put it here if you want this repeated. Strength is a big issue, and it's one that people seem to have the most questions about. So I'm always happy to talk more about it. But anyway, I want to welcome yes. Pamela and Aquiles. I love it, and Carol, and all, and of course Kathleen and Fern and Chad and Della. And I'm hoping I'm getting everybody. I can't see everyone. And Loretta, and uh, who else? Okay, I think I got, I wanna thank you for coming on. I hope you got what you were looking for. And I hope this week your eyes are open and you're taking more, what do I wanna say? Well, just taking the choice to own things and change the perspective and start conquering whatever you wanna conquer, okay? Thank you so much, Elena. Love you all. Thank Love you. you all. Good night, everyone. Namaste. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye now.